on this edition of the Morning Announcements. Be prepared for a barrage of acronyms such as NHS, CTE, FHS, SFS, TOI, PU, IU, IUPUI, ESS, SBLS, SSBU, and MTC. Only on HGTV. The news starts N-O-W. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm your interim host, the four-time iRacing Street Stock Race winner, Morpheus Barry. And I'm Nick. Anyway, for lunch on lines one and two, we're going to have quesadillas and fish sandwiches. Line three, chicken strips and mashed potatoes. Line four, it's either going to be breakfast pizza bagels or pancake wraps or calzones. Hasn't been decided yet. Hoping for calzones, line five's closed. Happy birthday goes out to Richard Brown and Jaden Bradley Ducharme. Now time for sports with Iris Madera. The varsity baseball team overcame a five-run deficit to defeat Danville last night, 12-6. Christian Lopez earned the win on the mound and led the conference with four hits and the four RBIs. The Frankfurt softball team fell to Danville for the second time in a row by a score of 11 to 1. The dogs' uh, lone run came off a home run by Morgan Dean. Michaela Harper took the loss, pitching three innings while allowing nine runs on 11 hits with one strikeout. The team will play in the Clayton Prairie Classic this weekend with the first game at 9 a.m. against Tri-Country and the second game at 12.30 p.m. against Clay City. Anyone who missed the football callouts on Wednesday needs to see Coach Byers in room 123 for summer schedules and other information. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio. The sixth annual Strides for Stacy 5K Color Run will be taking place on May 18th at 9 in the morning. If you just want to participate, the price of admission will be $10. If you want a Strides for Stacy shirt as well, the price will be pushed up to $20. And if any adult wants to run and purchase a shirt, the price will be $30. All proceeds will be going to the Stacy Ball Legacy Scholarship. For more information, you can ask Mrs. Fortner, one of the many National Honor Society members, such as myself, or go to the Strides for Stacy Facebook page, where both students and the community are highly encouraged to follow. Make sure to spread the word, sign up, and keep Stacy Ball's leg legacy ongoing. The deadline to sign up is May 1st. Make sure to tune in to the new Ask Dallas episode that came out yesterday. Head on over to our YouTube channel to watch the newest and oldest episodes. For Assistance Principal Week, this week we, will, we would like to honor Sydney Long. Mrs. Long graduated from FHS in 1996. During her time at the high school, she was an outstanding swimmer. She went on to get her master's at IUPUI, receiving her administrative license. After she graduated from college, she came back to FHS as a swim coach and English teacher. As per usual, if you have early summer school and you aren't done yet, then show up, please, three to six. If you do the work and you don't talk the whole time and focus, you actually get done. A congratulations to Mr. Santos, who has been selected as the CTE, or Career Technical Education, Teacher of the Year for Clinton County. So, Dallas and Brett have caught up with Mr. Potts and they've got some info on cardiovascular exercise. Um. A lot of times we'll use them in group activities. Um, we'll rotate, um, give them some time on the bike, give them some time on the, the skiers, um, the rowers, and then we'll combine that with some other kind of static activity. So plenty of different um, cardio type options. Okay, the new bikes and uh, ski urge that we got are um, just to give the students um, more options for cardio activities. Um, previously, the only options we had were um, running um, and we added some rowers, so running, rowing, and uh, swimming. So just to give them more options. 
Again, just for more options, uh, sometimes we'll have um, runners that have run so much that they develop uh, shin splints. Um, and uh, so, you know, it gives them um, some more options. Um, also, it gives us a good chance to rehabilitate um, students that have, those that have an upper body injury, um, we can put them on the bikes. Uh, those students that have a, a lower body injury, we can pull a, a stool or a chair up to, to the ski ergs and they can still manage to get some cardio activity done with, with those. So um, just a lot of good, good options that we have now. Thanks guys. I definitely don't want my shins looking like a roadmap after a run. A special thanks goes out to Iris Madura and Christo Guzman for filling in on the announcements today as we are shorthanded. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll be back Monday.